Okay, good day, grade 12, um, matriculants, incorporating students who are breeding in the metric, um, geography teachers, and people who are curious in learning more about geography. Okay, today we are going to be discussing a lesson um, on inversion layer. Yes, inversion layer. Okay, yeah. So, inversion layer is is part or is mostly part of is subtropical anticyclones, you know? Yeah. So as inversion layer is, is part of subtropical anticyclones, you know, um, okay, so we're going to break down this inversion layer lesson into, into two parts, inversion layer in winter and inversion layer in summer. So I'm going to first discuss inversion layer in in winter this is inversion layer in in winter so let's just get into it and so say it's, it's gonna be a very short uh, and quick lesson you know yeah you know that uh, we have our plot two whereby the color high is dominant we have our escarpment and we have our oceans. And these are our oceans. This is the ocean of the sea. This is the ocean. Okay, so you know, at least on the coastal areas uh, here in South Africa, we have the likes of your Deben, the likes of your East London. The likes of your Port Elizabeth, Gabeja, and also we have um, your Cape Town, CBT. Then, at least on the plateau, the cities that are on the plateau here in South Africa, you know, at least you have your your GP, your Gauteng. Yeah, we have your Gauteng, your Free State, all of these are cities. Bloomfontein that are in the continental or are experiencing continental climate here in South Africa. You know, yeah. So this is your escarpment, ne? Yeah. This is your escarpment. Escarpment, and this is the plateau. This is the plateau, this is the escarpment. You know, the plateau is a flat area. It's a high-lying area that is flat. And this is the escarpment. This is where you're going down from the top. And this is the sea. You can see, yeah. So, this is winter, mind you, guys. This is winter. Let me just make it blue so that you can all see that this is the ocean. All right? Yeah, so we're going to be discussing firstly what happens in in winter. Okay, let me draw another diagram so that I can show I can show um, my illustrations perfectly without distractions. And so let me draw a diagram of winter inversion layer. Inversion layer in winter. This is winter. Okay, yeah, so we said we have the escarpment. This is your escarpment, this is your plateau. It's coming down to the, to the oceans, okay, to the zero degrees latitude. Yeah, this is an ocean. Or oh, a sea. Is an ocean or sea, yeah? Okay, so what happens in winter? I think you know. Subtropical high pressure belt is dominant in winter. To just get into a point in winter, there is more subsiding air. So there is more subsiding air in winter. 
there is more subsiding and you know that subsiding is from the upper atmosphere which hits adiabatically with its lapse rate of 1 degrees Celsius per 100 meters. So basically this is kind of like dry warm air, you know? Yeah, so yeah, it's dry, let's say. So in winter, you know, there will be less rising air. You know, yeah, let me just give illustrations more. More subsiding. More subsiding A. More subsiding A and less rising rising air from the oceans, especially in warm oceans. You know, in warm oceans, warm oceans has humid air. And therefore, the air in warm ocean will tend to rise, you know? Yeah, so, but there will be less humid air that is trying to rise, you know? Yeah. Since there is less humid air that is trying to rise, this subsiding air will act as a blockage here by not allowing this, sub, this rising air to reach the land, you know? By not allowing um, metals like uh, the sea breeze, the kind of uh, precipitation from our oceans and other evaporation processes happens on our lakes, dams, and rivers. You know, yeah. So it will block this air that is trying to rise. You know, yeah, because it has, it it has not, or it have no. A high amount of energy to to rise because it gets blocked by this more subsiding air. So if this more subsiding air blocks this rising air, you know underneath the rising air there will be cold air that pushes um, this humid air. So this humid air will be trapped here and back fall into the ocean. So this is going to be our inversion This is going to be our inversion This is going to be our inversion layer eh? And so basically to, to explain further for you guys if maybe you are still confused by it. this, this is easy, you know? Yeah, so that means if you understand subtropical high pressure belts, its effect on the interior of South Africa, it's easy for you to understand this. Okay? So, this means that when this rising air, which is less rising air because the equator is far from us and there is more subsiding air, so if this air is trying to rise, there must be cold air or cold dry air underneath this humid air. So this rising air will be trapped here. Why it's going to be trapped? Because more subsiding air will suppress this less rising air not to, to continue to rise or cause a, a kind of precipitation and other precipitation, you know, yeah. So that is in winter. In winter, there will be there will be less rising air, and in winter there will be more subsiding air, as you can see. Saying air, you can see there's more subsiding, subsiding air, and there is less rising air. You can see, yeah, in winter, so causing the blockage of the 
rising air. So rising air in winter will be blocked by inversion layer. So that's why in winter we don't experience some kind of precipitation, as I said, some kind of rainfalls and so on. You know? Yes, that's how it goes. And now let's move in summer now. You know, inversion layer in and summer. You know, this is your plateau. The interior of South Africa. And also the escarpment. And these are the oceans. The sea or ocean. Yes. Okay, this is summer. In summer, you know, things have changed now. The, the anticyclones are weaker and not stronger because it's in summer. You know, yeah, they, they moved downwards or southwards. And also the equator moved southwards, closer to South Africa. If the equator moved outwards, you know, the ITC is that, the intertropical convergence zone. If it's closer now to South Africa, and bear in mind, ITZ causes low pressure. That means there will be more rising of air, of humid air. There will be more rising of humid air from the oceans, lakes, rivers, and dams. There will be more rising air. There will be more rising air, as you can see. There will be more rising air. There will be more rising air. There will be more rising air. There will be more rising air, you can see. More rising air. Then, you know, 30 degrees south, which is a subtropical high pressure belt, has moved southwards. Away from South Africa, I can say the anticyclones are weaker now, which means, or uh, which uh, leads us to the fact that. The subsiding air will be less. There will be less subsiding air in some. Less subsiding air. The less subsiding air in summer, there is more rising air. So the inversion layer will move upwards. There will be no blockage now. This is your inversion layer this is your inversion layer inversion layer this is your inversion layer so your inversion layer will move upwards will be pushed by the rising air which has high amount of energy you can see you know yeah so the sun takes shorter radiation to the land of south africa and also to the oceans of south africa and therefore there will be much heat causing humid air to rise or causing more humid air to rise pushing the inversion layer upwards you can see so the rising air now in summer will be allowed to reach the land of South Africa, causing a precipitation. You know? Yeah, causing a precipitation. So the rainfall would happen. And mostly in in the um, in the in the coastal areas such as your East London, Deben, Cape Town, um, Port Elizabeth, yeah. So, yeah, there will be more summer rainfall experienced in the east side of South Africa. Yeah, as you can also see in your maps, the east side of South Africa is likely to be greener, you know, yeah, because it receives much rainfall and it's suitable for farming, you know, yeah. And basically, we should note um, these uh, okay so in summer more rising air more 
rising okay. in summer there is more this is r there's more rising a eh? in winter there is less subsiding a eh? the the anticyclones are weaker or the anticyclones have moved downwards are weaker or moved downwards yes that's how it goes yes and the cyclones are weaker or moved downwards yeah that's how it goes and thanks for for watching my lesson